Okay, we're, we're back, or we may say we never left, right? High school proficiency exam problem, um, 27 showing here on the page. Let's see what can we do, what could be done to solve it, right? Fred and Ethel, Ethel, whichever way you want to pronounce that, are solving the system of linear equations shown below. 2x minus 3y equals 12. In the second equation, negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 24. Fred found the solution to be the point 6 and 0. Well, the point with the coordinates x equals 6 and y equals 0. Ethel, Ethel found the solution to be the point with the coordinate 0 and negative 4. Which person has the correct solution to the system and why? Okay, so this is what the question, what the problem is asking you to look for uh, on your four options here, right? Which person has the correct solution to the system? So you have to decide if either Fred or Ethel have, has the, the, the right solution to the system. And you have the four options, A, B, C, and D. And looking over them, it says Fred because the point 6, 0 lies on both lines. That's all because the point with the coordinate 0 and negative 4 lies on both lines. C, neither because any two lines may only have one point in common. Right? What can you guys tell me about this one? Because any two lines may only have one point in common. So basically the statement says that no matter what kind of lines you have, they may only have one point in common. Well, how about the blue lines on my screen here? Do they have any point in common? No way. Are they two lines? Yes, they are. And also I can have one line and the line that's exactly with this one. How many points in common with the two lines? Well, imagine these are lines, right? You don't have, you don't have an infinity. So C is not good. D, neither because they have found only two of the inf infinitely many points that lie on both lines. Well, D is also wrong because for this situation, for this situation, we have only one particular case when the two lines are basically identical, right? So D is not the answer either. And let's go back, or you know, we may find out that the two lines have the same, uh, that the two equations are actually the same line, and then we'll get back to this one. But for now, we just assume that, you know, actually we can put a question mark here, that D would be a wrong answer if the two lines are not identical, right? So getting back to the system, and there are many ways in which you can solve it again. You can follow, you know, the trial and error, basically take Fred's point, knowing that the point that he found has the coordinates x and y, so whatever you have x in your system, you will plug in 6, and whatever you have y, you plug in 0, and if you want to go that way, well, let's see, I'm going with Fred, and I'm checking if his answer is the right one, and if that's the case, then x and y being plugged into either one of these two equations will check will give me two uh, true statements, right? So let's see in the first one, x equals 6, y equals 0. So x equals 6, first equation becomes 2 times 6 minus 3 times y. What is your y? 0 equals 12. Well, 3 times 0 is nothing, right? And I have 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 times 6 is 12, 12 equals 12, so this one is checked, well let's check the first one, I mean the second one, I have what, negative 4 times x, what is my x from my friend's answer, 6 plus 6 times what, y, what is y, 0 equals negative 24, well 6 times 0 is 0, we can ignore that term, right, this will be nothing, I have negative 4 times 6, negative 4 times 6 is negative 24, 
should equal negative 24. Well, always. Negative 24 is always negative 24. And it seems to me that Fred's answer is the right one. Okay? And that's why our answer here will be A, and you're moving on. However, if you're not confident that you got it right, you can check Ethel's answer too. And you will do it the same way. You take your x0 and your y negative 4, because this is the intersecting point. So you guys remember, if you have a system of linear equations, you can solve that system by graphing each one of the two lines. And if the two lines intersect in one point, that point, its coordinate will be the solution of the system of equations. If they're identical, you will have an infinity of solutions. If they're parallel, you will have no solutions. And um, that's one way to solve it graphically. Now we're going by, you know, working our way backwards, right? And you plug in this, so I have x is 0, I will have 2 times 0 minus 3 times y. What is y? Negative 4 equals 12. That's 0, right? I have negative 3 times negative 4, which is also what? Also 12, I mean, it's not also 12, it's 12, and I have 12 equals 12. I'm going with the next one. Next equation, I have negative 4 times 0 plus 6 times what? 6 times y. What is y in this case? Negative 4 equals negative 24. And what do we have? We have negative 4 times 0, which is 0. 6 times negative 4 is negative 24, equals negative 24. Well, this, this is also true. And it looks like ether is also right. That's also a point that verifies the system. So it seems to me that, you know, my, my guess or my um, doubt at the beginning when I said, you know, guys, we may say this is not the right answer, but it may be, could be the answer. And let's check that. How can we do that? Well, look at the two equations here. I got 2x minus 2y equals 12. I got negative 4x plus 6y equals negative 24. Look at the second equation. What if I'm dividing everything by 2? Okay? Actually, by negative 2. If I'm dividing negative 4x by negative 2, I'm dividing 6y by negative 2, and I'm dividing negative 24 by negative 2. Okay, let me use a different color. What do you get? The second equation becomes what? Negative 4x divided by negative 2 is going to be 2x. Negative 6y divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 3y equals negative 24 divided by negative 2 is actually 12. And what do you guys notice here? I'm getting, I'm after I'm dividing the second equation by 2, I'm actually finding the first equation. So basically the two lines are nothing else but the same line, right? I have one line, actually. Or you may say the two lines are identical, which means the answer is D, because neither Fred nor Ethel are right. They only found two points of the infinitely many points that line both lines because the two lines are actually just one. Okay? So be careful for this type of problems. Uh, you know, like we found Fred and we were almost ready to move on and say A is the right answer. Then we found that B is also a possible answer. Like I have said, they're both, they're both verifying our system. However, it's just a part of the solution set. And the solution set is nothing else but, you know, the whole line. All the points, you see, if I'm going on this line and I'm marking every point, every point on this line, will verify both equations because the two lines are actually 
only one. That's about it. We'll have another one soon. Thank you.